Sunny and 75. What's up guys? How's it going? Mark from 408. We have been getting lots of rain lately. So we've been kind of getting the remnants off that hurricane that uh, was just here. Was it Fiona? And then Ian's coming next. So we've been getting lots of rain, which is kind of crappy for filming. But you know what? I said, whatever. I'm going to get out and get after it either way. Because I know you guys would appreciate it more. So if you're just tuning in, make sure you leave some comments. I always like seeing your guys' comments. And I am slowly getting better at responding to your guys' comments. So fire a few comments down below. Do what you got to do. Thank you, guys. We got the truck today. We got the General Tire ATs. And these things are absolutely awesome. But I'm slowly burning them off. Just, you know, for a video. Not like all at once. I'm just doing a little bit at a time because, you know, it's entertaining, right? So garage is definitely getting full again. We got the Maverick here, the new XRS. I know it says DS on it, but it is an XRS. They just, it came with the wrong sticker, let's just say. So I'm keeping it clean, obviously, for the wedding. And then as soon as I get back from my honeymoon, we're starting the build. The wrap it's on, is on its way. Most of the parts are here. So that's all super ATV parts. If you need parts for any side-by-side, -side, definitely highly recommended Super ATV. Where's the banner there? There it is, Super ATV. Check them out. There's a link below. They always have tons of sales going on, so. But yes, I have been itching hard to frickin' rip this thing. I've ripped it around the barn a few times, but I gotta keep it clean, obviously. So, I've had it for about two weeks now, and the unboxing video has done absolutely amazing. I think it's at like 70 or 80,000 views, so. And she's climbing. I wish every video was like that, but for some reason, YouTube treats me like crap, so. Snowmobiling season's coming up as well, so. <laughs> Last time we had this out, we sunk it. We got her going again, and it's just been sitting here, so. We'll get that going. I'm just waiting for my dad. He's gonna give me a quick hand today. I got a new, sorry, new car down the track, so. We're gonna rip to the barn. I'm gonna drift around the flagpole with this thing, leave some skid marks. Then we're gonna head to the track and have some fun with my new whip. It's behind that tree right now, that big tree. Usually a storm over there, but I had to go. So the people delivered it, and now it's behind that tree. All right, let's do this. <laughs> so, Mark, it looks a little bit wet today yeah, here. Yeah, we chose a good day to come out here. We've, uh, I think we're getting some remnants off that hurricane there. I'm trying to stay under the big umbrella. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see if we can drift around this pole and uh, lay a bit of rubber. Let's see if we can just slide. I'll try not to take you out. <laughs> Okay, so how is that, Mark? It's good. I know everyone always says turn your traction control off, and I do. I hold the button down for 10, 15 seconds, and then I put it in first gear because I found out last time I was always trying to switch gears. But there's so many damn sensors on these trucks these days. It doesn't matter how many safety things you turn off, eventually one will kick back on. So it so. won't let you do anything? Well, you can for a little bit, and then it says the party's over, shut it down. So. <laughs> oh, well, we, uh, we did a few little skids there. And yeah, if you pick up too much speed, then the front end just starts pushing, so. Um, That's what you get for buying a smart truck. I know, I need to buy a piece of crap Dodge. <laughs> All right, let's head down the track and uh, test out that freshie, the fresh car. <laughs> the cameraman for today. All right, the rain has slowed down a little bit, as you can see. We've uh, figured out all these piles of dirt too. They're now 
tabletops and gaps. So right on the other side, we still have the tabletops or the gaps, but we have tabletops for the kids on this side. So, and then this is our new whip. The Hyundai Santa Fe, decent little thing, but they uh, they were gonna sell it, but then they looked underneath and the frame was completely rotten. So I know a lot of people are like, oh, why don't you donate your cars to, you know, someone that's fortunate. And it's like, well, it doesn't really matter because they'll never pass safety in Canada anyway, because the bottoms are completely rotten. And if I jumped this, it would probably snap in half. So we bring it here, we get a few more laps out of it. We have some fun and then we launch it and send it to the scrapyards, so. All right, should we have some Let's fun? Do Let's do it. Let's do it. the inside. Oh my goodness. This is my sweet door panel. Did they sell it to somebody? Yeah, they, uh, well, I guess they have two of them. So I don't know, the switches stopped working. So they, they took the switches out. But the only crappy thing now is I can't roll down my window and I can't roll. Well, I guess I can go in the back seat and roll that one up. Ugh. Still starts, that's good. Okay, and what exactly is this, Mark? This is a Hyundai Santa Fe all-wheel drive. What year? Well, let me tell you. Okay. I got the old logbook out here. I mean, it looks in great shape. 2010. Okay, so 12, 12 years old, I guess. So, yeah, I don't know if they left the window lock on, but now I can't shut this back window. <laughs> Whoops. All right. Let's see if we can run this thing. All righty. Go for it. All right, so how does she run there, Mark? This is a lot of fun. I definitely love the all-wheel drive cars because, uh, well, you know, in this weathering conditions, they slide so much better. They, uh, well, they get traction and they don't get stuck. So I was definitely not thinking I was gonna slide across the track sideways, but uh, no, it worked really well. So, and I'm trying to t not take out you or the truck, so, or any big jumps. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah, you wanna hop in? We'll head over to the big puddle and mess around over in the real mud. Okay, let's do it, Mark. Let's do it. Okay, do it, Mark. All right, let's see how good, uh, good this actual all-wheel drive works in the mud. And this won't have all those smart things like your truck does. Well, it might have a couple, but not as much. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> Thing, huh? 
just gonna go backwards. Looks like. Okay, there he is. Oh my goodness. What was that all about, Mark? I was trying to do it in reverse, but it's a lot trickier. Okay. It wants to fly all over the place when I'm in reverse. It doesn't want to stay straight. No kidding. I can so, smell something burning too. That's the good stuff. That's the uh, the premium mud you got smelling there. Is that what it is? Yeah. I was doing some good donuts there and then some safety kicked in as per usual. Yeah. Am I fogging up the lens? Ah, uh, no. We can see you. All right. Let's smack the puddle once more. Do it again. can do it Mark. Come on. Let's see. Okay. Foot to the floor. What's the deal, Mark? Doesn't like me again. Uh oh. I think you're trying to drown this thing, Mark. I was trying to. Uh, you can't kill it. So, at first there, I turned the traction control off, but apparently there's a there's a diff lock on this, and that was flashing at me, and I'm like, you know what? So I shut it off there, turned it back on, turned the diff lock on, we're good to go. She acted a little better, ran great, and uh, yeah. And you just gotta smack the puddle and clean it off after, so. Okay. I'm glad we picked this thing up. Thank you to the McKechnies for dropping it off. We're definitely gonna have some fun with it. It's definitely gonna be good in this mud and uh, see if we, we can jump it at some point. I would like to jump the convertible Dakota next, but we shall see how the, uh, the weather goes here. It's supposed to dry out after today, so fingers crossed we'll be good to go. I apologize for a little less content during these past couple weeks and for the next two weeks. Get married this weekend. And then going on a honeymoon so and with this rain it's definitely been tough but we'll uh, definitely get back at it soon and uh, once the maverick's up and going too we'll have lots of uh, maverick videos for you so thank you guys again have a fantastic day get yourself a santa fe and we'll see you later Bye bye